The T-Rex was undoubtedly one of the largest and most fearsome land carnivores of all time, with its massive body, sharp teeth and jaws that are so powerful they could crush a car, this predator was built to rule and dominate the prehistoric Earth. However, around 68 million years ago, the period of his rule ended, marking the beginning of a new era, when mammals started to grow larger, no longer restricted in size by their previous rulers. This evolutionary dynamic of becoming larger and heavier persisted for millions of years until it peaked around 34 million years ago when a tremendous mammal appeared in Eurasia. It was a hornless rhino, dubbed the Paratheratherium, and for many years scientists considered it the largest land mammal to ever exist, with no creature surpassing its size. However, that was until recently, when paleontologists discovered the true giant of the past, a prehistoric elephant that once roamed the west expanses of what is now called India and Pakistan. Today it is considered to be not only larger than the Paratheratherium, but also bigger than one of the most ferocious predators of all time, the Tyrannosaurus rex, making it the largest land mammal to ever walk the earth. Meet the Paleoloxodon nomadicus. As the name suggests, nomadicus was a part of the prehistoric elephant genus Paleoloxodon. They are believed to have first evolved in Africa some 1.8 million years ago, during the early Pleistocene, with the first known species being Paleoloxodon reki. This elephant was a dominant mammal of East Africa, with a fully grown male weighing over 12 tons or 26,000 pounds and a staggering height of up to 4.3 meters or 14 feet tall, making him taller than a fully grown male T-Rex. Since would only get crazier for this genus as 800,000 years ago, a population of Paleoloxodon reki migrated out of Africa into Eurasia, where this migratory group would eventually become two new species. One was Antichus, that weighed over 15 tons or 33,000 pounds. Later, this species would spread throughout the Mediterranean islands, where its descendants would ironically become the smallest known elephants to ever exist, which are similar in size to a domestic pig. However, even this giant was nothing compared to the second species that would arise from Reki, Paleoloxodon nomadicus. The oldest known specimen was dated to over 700,000 years ago, at the time of the early Middle Pleistocene. It's quite possible that this elephant species got to the limit of how big a mammal can get on land, as paleontologists were amazed by the titanic size of its fossils, especially by the size of its femur. And based on this bone alone, along with the right humerus, they estimated that this individual was 4.35 meters or 14.3 feet tall at the shoulders. Yet, this elephant wasn't the largest. Some years later, an even greater femur was located that was 20% bigger than the previous one. Thereafter, paleontologists estimated that the Nomadicus was an incomparable species of elephant, with this larger specimen being 5.2 meters or 17 feet tall at the shoulder, making it taller than most giraffes while weighing 22 tons or 49,000 pounds, outgrowing the Paratheratherium and making it the largest land mammal to ever live. This phenomenal weight makes it heavier than not just the T-Rex, but also every non-sauropod dinosaur to ever exist. Paleoloxodon nomadicus was three times heavier than the African bush elephant, the largest living land mammal today, and it possibly grew larger than the maximum estimate of 22 tons. The theory is based on observations of modern-day elephants, which can show a significant variation in size, as demonstrated by the largest recorded bush elephant, which was around 11 tons or 24,000 pounds, about double that of the average individual. Unfortunately, exceptional cases like this one are one in a million, so it's unlikely that such an individual will be found soon. 
Nemeticus wasn't just a big elephant. It was a robust creature in the way it was built, with its skull being uniquely shaped, a common feature of the Paleoloxidan species. With a large crest being located at the top of the skull, it anchored the elephant's splenous muscles, which were used to support its giant hand and wielding its formidable weapon, the straight tusks. Like many other elephant species, the Nemeticus had two straight-facing tusks that were proportionally large to its massive body, and it's believed that it had the longest tusks of any elephant species, with one partial element estimated to be 3.6 meters or 12 feet long, and over 120 kilograms in weight when completed, leaving the African bush elephant out of competition. A genuinely unique body physique allowed the Nemeticus to become a prosperous grazer. This assumption was based on the morphology of its teeth, and supposed that it consumed low-level vegetation and spent much of the day eating grasses and leaves and would have eaten over 150,000 calories. Spending most of its time searching for food made the Nemeticus vulnerable to the attacks of various predators. However, the titanic size and straight, powerful tusks made this elephant unachievable prey to practically any predator except for one – humans. It's still a disputable question among the scientists whether they were hunted and butchered by early humans or peacefully coincided with them. One of the early Middle Pleistocene sites introduced an Amedicus with its bones deliberately fractured by humans using stone tools. Yet, there is no evidence that the elephant was hunted and it may have been scavenged after dying of natural cases. The fossils of the Nemeticus indicate that it was able to spread far and wide, with the remains being found in multiple locations outside of India and Pakistan, including Malaysia, Myanmar, Laos and Vietnam. Yet, some of these remains were marked as the remains of other Paleoloxidan species that inhabited modern-day China and Taiwan. Perhaps the size of the Nemeticus played a trick on it, as its incredible measurements became one of the main reasons for its extinction. A cold trend in climate led to the decline of its natural habitat of wooded areas, leading to a decrease in its main food items, and considering the number of calories the elephant needed to sustain itself, the population quickly declined after the habitat loss. Other large animals in the region also became extinct around the same time as the Nemeticus, around 25,000 years ago. Undoubtedly, this elephant species is still a huge mystery for the scientific world. With many researches being done in recent years, we can hope to find even more fossils to prove the theory that Paleoloxidan Nemeticus is the largest land mammal to ever live.